no! Hi friends, uh, I'm Anand Ved, the, your tech guide from Techstore and this is a very important video for all of you who have purchased a very slim laptop in the past two and a half, three years. Most of the laptops uh, which are slim are coming for repairs because their display frame or the touchpad is getting broken off, ripped off. And that is basically precisely happening because the hinges are uh, getting tight and uh, you're not loosening it. So this video is for all of you who have a very slim laptop and this can be applied to any such laptop. So for a case study, we are taking a HP 15 BS series laptop and uh, we will show how exactly the entire process is done. So if uh, your laptop is something like this, when you open up and this is the display frame and uh, this is the way it looks on the base, then you can apply this particular video. We have been making these uh, videos to help you guys out so that you need not go to a technician, spend a lot of money and uh, do it on your own, do it yourself. You can help us by subscribing it. I don't know why we have not subscribed it as yet. We take a lot of pains to create a video like this. I request you all, please subscribe, like the video and share it amongst your groups. As you can see, the display frame is completely ripped off uh, because of the imbalance of the hinges. I would like to show you the way it is, the hinges are designed. This is the inside of your laptop, this, these hinges exist inside your laptop. This is something that is not visible to you on the inside and uh, these are what create the problem. Now you can see uh, it has two parts, uh, the upper part and the lower part and it is held by a nut. When you are opening and closing, this is what happens. So the problem is when uh, the nut that is holding the two parts is very tight, it becomes very tight for you to open and close and uh, the screws which are being held by a female screw inside, they rip off because they are held onto a plastic fiber body. And most of these laptops which come for the problem is basically because of this, either the lower part, the part where your keyboard is, the touchpad is goes off or the part where the display frame is, the upper part rips off. So in this particular case that we are taking today, it is a display frame replacement that we are doing. In another video, we'll show you how to replace the touchpad and base also. So let's get started. After watching this video, you'll be able to basically replace uh, the display screen uh, as well as the display frame. So let's get started. First, you need to use both your hands and close the top of the laptop. And uh, then you need to remove the battery first thing first. And then uh, you need to remove all the screws. Now this process uh, will be different for different laptops. For this 15 BS series, this is the way it has to be done. If you want to replace the DVD writer with the HDD caddy, you just need to remove it like this once you remove this screw. Now we need to very carefully open the display frame and need to open the base. You might have a prior like the one that I am using. Remove the base. Now, once the base has come off, uh, you need to be very, very careful because uh, you need to remove the display frame out of this entire thing. So you need to remove uh, these cables as well as uh, these screws and these screws over here. So let's remove it. In most cases, uh, even this particular base, the screws will completely give away and you will not be able to remove the screws because the female screw part has uh, got off from the fiber that is there existing for which we will show you what has to be done now remove the wi-fi cable take a photograph of this area zoom in and take it so that when you are again reassembling it don't have any issue remove the display cable We 
people who want to replace the fan this is the way to go just remove this one screw and the fan will be off this part has to be removed like this as you can see this is what happens to these laptops this female screw which was held by the fiber here has come off because of the tension that is being put continuously so we'll show you a solution to help out with this this also has to be removed like this so fortunately here only this one screw has gone off so we need to now remove this part away we've already shown you another video how to basically replace the ram hard drive and all the other aspects in the keyboard also here in this video we'll be only concentrating on the display frame hinges solution now we need to remove the display frame very gently just start removing the display frame on the top there will be some gluing over here very gently just remove it it will come off like this now you have to be very careful with these uh, silver uh, holders actually just take a photograph of the way it is and this is what the problem is as you can see uh, the tension has made it rip off so we need to now remove the display all the screws that you are seeing you need to remove them remove this side screws as well now people who want to replace the display frame and only the display screen need not do all this they just need to remove the frame on the top and get to the area where the screen is and uh, just need to remove this part over here it's a 30 pin 15.6 inches full hd screen that you need to buy just remove the glue here and uh, disconnect the cable keep the screen away safely somewhere observe the way these hinges are this is the way you have to again put it back take a photograph or something this is on the right side and this is where the problem is you can see because it is so tight it is so tight i'll tell you i cannot explain how tight this is so tight it's making me bleed also we need to use these screws actually put one finger over here it not easily come off but you need these screws because these screws are the ones that are going to fit on the new one just remove it like this then take a close up of the way it is this is what the issue is are the culprits now we need to remove uh, the wifi antenna so remove this glue and the web camera cable has to be removed camera will come off like this now very carefully remove the entire assembly from the clutches of this display frame now let's throw this away and uh, work on the existing hinges just need to clean the hinges once the existing hinges now if uh, the hinges are not broken uh, over here if there is no damage to the hinges you can reuse the hinges otherwise you have to use a new hinge so here there has been no damage uh, this thing has not got cut off so we want to reuse it just clean it you need to use two of these plus hold it and then try to loosen it just rotate it once which is very very tight you will come to know that uh, it has become looser than what it was earlier now we need to apply some oil just take coconut oil that is there at your house two drops and uh, just try to do the same action again so that the oil is there inside it take the second hinge let us apply oil and uh, grease it a little so that it becomes loose and the same operation has to be done on that also take a piece of paper napkin so that these hinges have to be cleaned right we have another tool for this i will take this tool uh, 5 mm one so the nut is finally loose remove it using this as you can see it is totally loose now you need to put some oil there so that uh, does not uh, again become a problematic thing in the future so as you can see it's very very loose now we don't want it this loose otherwise the the display will just fall off it has to stand 90 degrees to 110 degrees very easily just do this thing so that uh, the block that existed will go away the oil will seep inside and then clean the oil 
completely without fail please clean the oil you just need to get to the hinges of your particular laptop and do this activity here once you do it and fit the hinges you're good to go now we need to tighten the hinges just do the same thing in the reverse way now check now it's very very tight it has to be in the between of very tight and uh, loose you have to be calibrative in this particular phase of the process should just be tight enough very tight will again lead to the same problem just tight enough for the display frame to be held precisely just tight enough so this is free movement now which was otherwise blocked and because of which the tension got created and uh, it ripped off so need to do with both the hinges anyways precisely done now we need to move towards the part where the hinges have to be fitted to the new new display frame the frame is available on our website textor.co.in now we have the new frame with us and this is the new frame and uh, very carefully just remove the latches the display frame now the most important aspect is setting these cables first just refer to the photograph that you had taken earlier this is the most important aspect because if this fitting is not correct the frame will not fit correctly so be very very careful about this part here Now we need to just take the screen and need to put the notch very carefully the gumming and need to put it back like this and now we need to put in the hinges the bigger screws so here as you can see the lock has gone off there is one lock over here the other lock is gone off so we need to just apply a little bit of heavy quick to this particular area here and uh, need to send this particular thing down to get stuck just hold it for a little while so that it sets fine within around 1 minute or so it should absolutely set fine and then apply the screws that are required so this part is done now we come to this part which is the easier part actually and uh, we just need to do like this and put in all the screws that are required 1 2 3 and then we need to put this lock and now i can put the screw over here and uh, take the frame now Clicking sound will be there. Clicking sound is there. It means that it is fit absolutely fine. There should not be any gap. And now your display frame is ready. Keep the display frame like this. All right. So now let's take the base. Let's place it to its position. This goes to the place where we have fit the email screw. The 
Wi-Fi needs to be fit. Needs to get locked to it. Put the frame back, the touchpad. The hinges screw. smooth you can just use one hand as you can see it has become smooth now for another two to three years you will not face any problem with any laptop per se which is facing this display frame and hinges issue so let's power it on it's powered on now as you can see uh, we have the windows uh, booting and uh, the operation is successful per se. It's a little riskier thing for you at your home to do it but for you to know the complexity that is involved it's very important that you see this video. As you can see the hinges are absolutely fine with one hand operation you can open close the hinges absolutely no problem whatsoever and uh, we have replaced the hinges as well as the display frame of this particular laptop. After looking at uh, this video you can actually replace the display frame the hinges the screen which is a 15.6 inches full HD 30 pin LED screen also this can be applied to any laptop that has got uh, this particular issue just watch out on YouTube a video which takes you to the point where you can remove the hinges of your laptop and apply the process that I have shown to you of loosening the hinges the nut that exists and uh, you're good to go I hope you liked our uh, video guys uh, thanks a lot and uh, do subscribe to the channel. Give your uh, comments uh, in the section below. Thank you so much.